More than 200 free colon cancer screening kits were distributed during a recent health fair at Torrance Memorial Hospital. Liz Brown Swanson joins us from the event that focused on the nation's second most deadly cancer. Hi Maria, I'm at Torrance Memorial Medical Center where they're having a health fair to educate the community about colon cancer prevention and treatment and yes, one of the tools I have here is a 10 foot inflatable colon that it's allowing people to walk through to better understand this disease. So you're about to take a tour of a colon. What brought you to the event tonight? Well, I've been putting this off. Um, I need to go get a colonoscopy and then I got a mailer and um, so it reminded me that, um, well, I better go check this thing out and also the picture of the colon, the blown up colon. That was another inspiration. Torrance Memorial is a community-based hospital and we really wanted to get the message out of the awareness of colon cancer since March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month. So we approached a couple of companies, they have donated uh, hundreds of uh, fit test kits which are early detection screening kits for colon cancer and we decided to open this up and make it a, a public uh, community screening. The public lined up and received instructions on how to use their free colorectal screening kits at home by collecting a stool sample and mailing it to the lab. They also collected information from doctors and nurses on how to navigate the nation's second most deadly cancer, colon cancer. Studies show 60% of these deaths could be prevented through early detection from kits like these and from having a colonoscopy, usually recommended every 10 years starting at age 50. Well, we know it is the second leading cause of cancer-related deaths in the United States. So it's a huge disease burden on both societal and also on a personal level. Uh, currently, we, for symptoms of colon cancer, generally the physicians will ask a bunch of questions, and those may include rectal bleeding, unexplained abdominal pain, unexplained weight loss, any change in bowel habits, you know, more persistent constipation or diarrhea. Um, and those are the general symptoms. But as you know, screening means no symptoms. A majority of the colon cancer actually do not exhibit symptoms, and therefore making prevention uh, since it's a preventable disease, making the screening process more important than ever. Doctors say education at events like this helps minimize the fear people have about getting checked and having a colonoscopy, which involves clearing out the colon to prepare for the procedure. The big thing for me is I think people need to uh, get over the emotion of the preparation and the actual test. Um, I don't, having been through it a couple times, it's really not that big a deal. Um, it's actually an easy, uh, an easy process, just some, just some prep work, and, but the test of procedure is very simple. You're out in a few hours, no problem, get a day off of work. I just think we need to get beyond the emotion and get, get to the preventative care that we all, all need and deserve. Today we're promoting a more plant-based diet as uh, eating more of a plant-based diet is one of the 10 recommendations from the American Institute for Cancer Research for cancer prevention. So we're sampling two salads today, a lentil salad and also a white bean and squash salad. We're just hoping people can start to include a little bit more plant-based, even if it's one meal a week, something like that to start with. Well, there's such a high rate of cancers now, various cancers cancers all over across the nation so I thought that it's important to do the screening. Attending this health fair, having a chance to walk through a colon, this was a tool to bring to life the importance of learning about colon cancer, most of all getting screened and checking with your doctor. I'm Liz Brown Swanson reporting for RPV TV.